Going is sussing like going is God. Yeah, yeah. Right. So your mom is home. She's doing the cooking. She's doing everything. And now you're waiting for your dad to get home. As a child, as a boy, need their dad in there. Mm -hmm. So dad get home, gets home at 6 o'clock. If dad ain't walking in the door at 6 o'clock, yeah. shit, we looking around. Mom, where dad is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So just going back to that, just having those memories of, you know, just feeling excited when my daddy walk in the door. Mm -hmm. You know, every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Every day, just feeling feeling that excitement that, that, that he's walking into the door. And like I said, the disappointment when that time comes and he's not walking through the door. Because uh -huh, you're so used to because him being so there. Used to him at being that time. There, at that time. So, like, just it could be the little, slightest thing. It could have been a slightest Traffic thing. Traffic feedback. But, he's so used to him, coming, so used in to him coming in at that time. But when he comes in, man, you're excited mm -hmm. the whole nine. So, how does that reflect in your kids, like now? It does, man. Yeah, uh -huh. it, it, it does big time because, like I said, I played the game for a long time and I had to work those hours and mm -hmm. come home at different times. Right. And when when I come home from my job, they don't know that if daddy had a good day, mm -hmm. they don't know if daddy had a bad day, they don't right. know if daddy, daddy just came home, got robbed, coming from the store. Anything. They don't know any of that. All they know that they excited when daddy walk in the house and all the stuff that went on that day it doesn't, doesn't matter. even matter. I knew you was gonna say that. It doesn't, doesn't even matter. matter. No. Yeah. I already know it. That's crazy. Because those smiles on their face, yeah, yeah, it's, sure. it's gonna bring you joy. Most definitely. Facts. So I wanna go through a couple of these images over here I got. Okay. Um, Let's see what you got over here first. You know, I know we talking about football, <laughs> but you know, you're an all around athlete out here. You Let's know, uh, talk about some of these pictures right here. You know, we got, what's okay. going on? What's going on? These articles, okay, so got let, pictures. So let me read up a little bit. Okay. Love, assumptions, Tremont William battles Terrebonne, Chris Ray for a rebound, William led Assumption Class 4A by District Playoff win over O.P. Walker with 19 points. Huh. Next up for the Mustangs is a regional meeting with Woodlawn and Baton Rouge Friday. Hmm. 19 points. This, but, I think, is for my senior year. Um, Memories, memories for sure. Definitely was an all-around athlete. Um, funny part is when people ask me about football and basketball, I tell them I don't know what I. I, I might have loved basketball a little Boy, bit more. Football. Than football. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I love basketball a little bit more than I love football. I yeah. Came to high school. I made varsity as a freshman. Mm. You know so. Skills. So you know I I, I always looked at it, man. Basketball is gonna be it. Yeah. But then you go and you watch the NBA and you yeah. like, man, I don't see too many yeah. 5'11 guys, six foot guys playing. Man, and you that's gotta be exactly super special. what I, mm -hmm. You got to be super special. I mean, you got your AIs, um, you got your Chris Pauls, you got you got some guys, but not many. Right. You know, not many people. So. Don't get him, Mr. Screw, because, I mean, you was dunking. I, I mean, I you was, put a man in the bucket. I was doing that, too. I was looking at it. You put the man in the bucket. But you know, one of, one of the things that you know, scouts and different people who look at um, on your way to these um, different places is that they look for all the, the skill, the size, they look for the total package. Mm -hmm. And you can have everything, and if you don't have the size, like it can drop you from being, you know, a first round pick to a sixth round pick. And it's funny that you bring it up. You was undrafted for football. Yeah. You want to undraft it. So, facing that type of adversity, how do you not give up in those type of times? Mm. I'll take these pictures. There you go, there you go. Mm, that's a good question. How do you right not there. give up in good these question. Type of times? Good question, whole another story. So, speaking of my mom and my dad, mm -hmm. my mom and my dad, I grew up watching them work. That's what they did. I told you, I watched my dad come in at a certain time. Mm -hmm. I watched my mom come in at a certain time. My mom never gave us everything that we wanted. 
most of the pro time probably never gave us exactly what we wanted. Right, yeah, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So. Talk about the plans they gon' make. I be scared when they quiet. They be cooking like they on a diet. Ain't no season on they jumble lie. Put that work in, they tryna get fired.